Hello, and welcome to Capstone Almost Live. I'm Michael Dahl. Boom, splash, zoom, glow. No, I'm not talking about my recent Taco Bell dinner. What I am talking about is this great new series from Capstone called Wiz Kids Science. Now, I want to highlight that and some other series that are coming from Capstone this fall 2014. Why? To make your lives easier. How? Well, number one, kids will love these books. They won't be collecting dust on your shelves. <laughs> <clears throat> Number two, teachers will love the up-to-date reference information. Thank you. These books were perfect for our science, social studies, American history unit. And all these books meet state curriculum standards. Let's go back to WizKids Science. Six books that give your young scientists easy and safe, hands-on experiments, like um, measure the speed of sound. Make a cup. Squawk like a parrot. Ah! Ah! Want more science? Want to get kids excited about underwater life? Well, you can't go wrong with sharks. Shark Expeditions is four books about the wild, woolly world of these watery wuh, 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 predators. And their ocean-going buddies, manta rays. Know what the biggest shark in the world is? A whale shark. These books are brimming with eye-popping photos that take you right into the world of these creatures and the brave scientists who study them. These books also have maps, fun facts galore, and academic vocab words like uh, phytoplankton. Mm. Well, don't be afraid to go back to the back matter. We've got glossaries, safe internet sites, and further reading on the subject. Smart! While we're at sea, let's take a look at that famous ship, the RMS Titanic. RMS, by the way, stands for Royal Mail Ship. Oh no. Everyone, including students, loves the story of this doomed, huge, incredible ship and its totally tragic, unexpected ending. The new series, Titanic Perspectives, coming this fall, dives into the great ship and its story from new angles. Instead of just telling the same information, these books build on a student's basic knowledge and curiosity about Titanic and go a little uh, deeper. How was this boat built? Who were the passengers? Who were the crew? It was 17 stories tall. Look at the size of that propeller. It had three of them. And these books also have primary source photographs and materials like uh, menus. The first class passengers were served chocolate and vanilla eclairs for dessert. There were a lot of heroes on the Titanic that fateful night. Well, we have a lot of heroes on solid ground too. And the We Shall Overcome series introduces us to them. American heroes who fought for our civil rights. From the Freedom Riders to that original March on Washington to the harrowing story of the Little Rock Nine, these books celebrate, explore, and define what the Civil Rights Act of 1964 meant and why it still means a lot today, how we all benefit from the struggles of those early heroes, activists, protesters, and pioneers. These are the same issues, the same debates, the same sticky questions that we're dealing with today. Now, as they say on the cover of these books, primary source explorations. They show how history is alive. We are history. As I said, there are all kinds of heroes. And heroes come in all sizes and shapes and species. Cats, dogs, horses. Well, these are all based on documented stories. It's called Animal Heroes. And this narrative nonfiction brings us these true stories of these brave animals that fought alongside soldiers, rescued with firefighters, and even explored space. Stubby was a hero dog soldier from World War I. Stubby, named that because of his stubby tail, was a stray adopted by an American soldier and then smuggled aboard ship when the men sailed for Europe. They even taught him to salute. Puppy reporting for duty, sir. Now how could this little dog save the lives of dozens of men during that poisonous trench warfare of World War I? Well, you'll have to read the book. Until then. It's over now. You can go. Should you be teaching somewhere?